Hello, antioxidant fruit lovers. Today, I'm gonna make a lemon ginger beet juice recipe. These are the ingredients. Two medium beets, one seedless hothouse or English cucumber. This is gonna have seeds in it. I'm gonna do the peel too. I have no problem with cucumbers like that. A lemon, if you're juicing citrus, it is a good idea to peel off the rind. And I literally just peel these, this off like I would if I was trying to eat an orange. But you can always cut it off as well. And then you want an inch of fresh ginger that has been scrubbed clean. I got the majority of that stuff from Misfits Market and it arrived today and I didn't know what to do with all of the beets that I got. So that's why I went online and looked up beet recipes. This one is from inspiredtaste.net and I will include a link to it if you wanna give it a try. I made a previous beet video, so that's why there's beet residue all through that. And I've already had that beet juice and it was excellent, so I'll include a link to that below. But for now, let's get started with this recipe. This is my juicer, I've had it for years. I absolutely love it. It's the Breville Juice Fountain. Is it the plus? I just think this is the juice fountain. I always turn it on high um, and it's loud. It's best to start with like a cucumber. These cucumbers are pretty water soluble so they're easy to go in there. Usually a cucumber comes out green, but as we all know, red and green make brown and since there was already beet residue in there that's why it came out brown and since I'm doing another beet juice I figured why the heck not. I'm gonna go ahead and juice the rest of these and then I'll let you know what it looks like. All right this is how it turned out. Beautiful beautiful beet juice color. I forgot to mention that one of the beets that I use is a golden beet just means it's not red, it's golden, which is more of like a yellowy orange color, but that has no effect because the red is so strong, it counteracts every other color. So depending on what I'm juicing, sometimes I like to strain it. I also like to put a towel there in case any more juice falls out. But the beet juice has been pretty clear of free lumps and stuff, but like if I'm juicing spinach or something like that, I usually like to strain it one more time for the Breville, because it doesn't do that great of a job. And then it's a little bit of foam on top. Oh, here it is. And I poured it into this mason jar because I have already had a bunch of beet juice tonight and my stomach can't take really more than that <laughs> at a time. And also I mentioned this in the other video, but my urine and poop will also be pink in color if I drink too much beet juice. So I'm gonna try this, but I'm not going to drink it all. Here we go, buen provecho. Mm. Whoa, that one, totally different than the first one. Way more tarty <laughs> from the lemon. And the first one that I did was way sweeter because it had apple and carrots. And this one is tarty because of the ginger and the lemon. So interesting. Tomorrow I'll have to be ready to pucker up and see how it goes. Woo! I, I like it. I will definitely save this recipe and use it again. But in general, I prefer the sweeter kind so that I'm not like closing my eyes and stuff like that. I will link to all of this below. If you don't have a juicer, you wanna try to start using one, then I'll link to the Breville one. Um, like I said, I've had it for years. It's been awesome. I also bought mason jars on Amazon. I bought these mason jar tops because the tops that came with the mason jars, they start rusting as you put them through the dishwasher. So it was just easier to buy these tops so that they won't rust and then I can store this overnight in the fridge. I will link to the recipe on inspiredtaste.net and I think that is it. Another tip is I like to use a produce bag. This one is a compostable one, compostable one. So that's nice because I can just put it right in the compost if I wanted to. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. 
If you liked this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Helps me be encouraged to do more videos like this. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.